I've decided that I want to make a light bulb. Gary keeps telling me that I'm not allowed to have no green lights, but uh, a light board, I can change the colour to that, so I kind of find a little bit of a loophole, but I'm going to give it a go. going to give it a go. I think first step is what I'm going to do is to uh, make a template. Um, I've ordered some Perspex, some black and some clear. I've got some lights. Some magnets, because I want to uh, put it on with magnets. Um, and some epoxy. So we'll give that a go and we'll see how we get on. I think first step for me is going to be getting uh, this template sorted so that I can cut out that perspex and make it look all beautiful. So let's crack on. Now, when I do my template for, for the vinyl cutter. Um, I just want to use it as a template so that I can cut around the uh, the letters and stuff and make it actually look like what I want it to look at. got some scrap vinyl don't matter again again it doesn't matter what color it is uh, I've just got yellow it's uh, pretty easy to cut and I just to be fair I use it for templating stuff anyway so that's not so bad so we'll get that cutter attached and we'll uh, get this template cut and get it slapped on that perspex so it's finished cutting out this is the final, final image. That'll be uh, lettering in the black, and that'll be the clear perspex. So yeah, that's uh, not bad for a first go. Um, I do, I'm not quite happy with how tall it is, so I might just, so I might just print out another one um, and cut out another one, make it a little bit taller. Um, and see how that looks as well. So we'll have a go at printing that one out, see how that comes out, and uh, yeah, I'll see thee in a minute when it's reprinting. So yeah, that's definitely a better size. Definitely a better size. That'll fit on there quite nicely. Now we just need to get this on clear perspex. Get it on Perspex. There we go. So we've got two bits of Perspex now. All leveled up and ready to go. So now I'm going to nip in garage and get it all cut out and looking a bit suave. And then we'll get it, uh, get it all glued together and see how she looks. Back in a bit. There we go, so got everything cut out, 
kind of sanded down the edges. There's a, a few things that are wrong with it naturally. Um, it's quite hard to, to work with the acrylic. I did chip a little bit, which is uh, annoying, but you know, that's just tough titty. It's homemade, but it actually did come out really nice. Dilemma I've got now is that I bought some lights, some strip lights. And I've got to figure out how I want to attach them on, which is kind of easier said than done. So I've got to think about that. I'll do that tonight. Um, I'm not going to make all this in one single day because, well, that's just not right. Um, but yeah, so the next issue that I've got is how I'm going to light it. I've got the strip lights. Do I put some vinyl on the back or do I put some white stuff on the back so that uh, the lights actually shine? I'm not sure. Not sure. But I'm going to uh, plug in these lights now and have a bit of an experiment. I've got a couple of bits of scrap uh, stuff there so I'll do that and see how we get on. So, I'm unsure of what I want to do. Unsure of what I want to do. Whether I want to just keep it with a green one there, or whether I want to keep it with the white. Because the other colours do come up quite nicely. So if I put that onto the jump one, then uh, that's not so bad. You get the different, uh, different colours. So choices, choices. Choices, choices, I'm not sure. Right, so I managed to get this uh, all wired up. I've still got to do a little bit of cable management, uh, but I'm going to mainly do that once I've made these brackets. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Um, I mean, they work. Can't find me any little remote control, and I'll show you. I mean, there, they all work. It's uh, not looking too bad. If I put it on all the flashy things, it'll go all flashy colours. But essentially, put them on there for a time being, just to raise it up a bit. It's gonna, I'm gonna put that on there. You can't see that right cracking in the daylight, but uh, that'll be a bit like that. You close them curtains. Yeah, so you see it better. See it better now that uh, it's not in the light. Um, don't look too bad. You can see the little uh, LEDs, but once it's uh, on its bracket, it'll be sat up further away. Um, it is pretty good. It's turned out pretty nice. Go through all different colours. It's getting there. It's getting there. Anyway. Hopefully I'll have a heat gun coming tomorrow so I can crack on and get that done. Um, and then that should be it. We can fit it to a truck and make sure it's all tickety-boo. I'll catch you tomorrow. Hey, there we go. Right, so it's another day. It's another day. I don't think it's another day. So I need to make still some brackets for this to go on and, and sort out the lights. Cause I need to do it. 
need to do it. So I've cut out a bit of perspex enough to make some brackets. Now I did have a go at heating this up and bending it with the hairdryer, but it's just too thick and that didn't work. So I've, uh, so I've asked a friend of mine to see if I can snag his heat gun um, to give that a go. Right, so today's exercise were to make these. So I've made a couple of little brackets, nice and angled on the top so that they can hang from the bunk bed. Hopefully I've got the angles right. I shouldn't imagine I have. However, I've not fixed them together properly until I know that uh, the angle's right. Cause it just gives me a little bit of room just to play with that. Mega hard stuff to work with. Uh, the, the heat gun, I mean, yeah, they're, they're not perfect. Look at the state of that. Look at the state of that. But it's kind of in the right shape. Now the idea is that they're gonna sit there. The lights are gonna slot into here, just so there's a little bit of a gap because I don't want the individual lights showing on my sign. And then the sign is gonna be uh, glued to that. Um, I've drilled a couple of little holes into the top there so that I can Bob some of the little magnets that I've got and then yeah generally I just need to clean them up and make sure that they fit uh, hopefully we'll be getting the truck back today so once I go pick that up I'm going to take these with me and make sure that when they hang from the bunk beds they're, they're nice and flush and that they're gonna fit okay um, if not I can come back and adjust before I glue everything up um, and then yeah I'll glue them to there and them to there and we should be uh, about ready for assembly and getting it up and running. I did test the lights and stuff last night. It, it looks lovely. Looks lovely. I'm quite chuffed with myself. Quite chuffed with myself. So I'll catch up with you once I've got them more or less fitted and we're ready for assembling it up and uh, getting sorted. I'll see you in a minute. Right, I'm in the truck, I'm in the truck, and I've got it more or less fitted. That's where we are. It's just uh, clipping onto that up there, and it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. If I uh, plug that in, that's what it's going to look like. Now, naturally, I have forgotten the remote control that uh, controls all the lights and whatnot, so I can't get any uh, footage of the individual colours right now, but I am super, super chuffed with how this has turned out. 
The only issue that I've got on that I need to take this back and rectify is that uh, where it attaches up to the top, I've left one of them a little too long, so what the other side's not sitting flush, but that'll take a few minutes to, to rectify. This has been a project that has been a pain in the backside. It's been, no, it's been super fun to make, but very, very challenging in some aspects. Um, especially bending the uh, acrylic and stuff with the heat gun. That was, it never went where I wanted it to go, but at the end of the day, I've now got a flashy light board and it looks bloody marvelous to me anyway. Um, I've purposely left it till late on at night so we can see so I can see the colors properly um, because I wanted to see what it actually looks like in the dark. Um, right now it's going crazy with the flashy things because I forgot to bring the remote control to put it to just one colour. But I'll forget, I'll remember that this time. I hope you've liked this vlog. I know this has been, it's been taking me like a week to make it, but I've had a right ball. If you've liked it, please, you know, drop us a like and a subscribe. That would be absolutely marvellous. Uh, and hopefully we'll see this uh, flashy light in all the future videos to come. Take it steady, I'll see thee, enjoy. Bye bye.